Hello everybody and welcome back to Project Peanuts. Today I'm going to give you some tips when playing Dragons of Tarkir sealed. And I have here two Fate Reforged boosters and four Dragons uh, packs and I'm going to open them as though it was a sealed environment. Yes? So I'm going to give you some tips and I'm going to tell you what I should do if I got this pool. So besides the fact that we're opening boosters, which is awesome anyway, uh, I'm going to give you some uh, last minute tips for the Dragons of Tarkir uh, draft limited and sealed environment. Uh, it's one of the last chances of uh, doing this because uh, in, a, in a while Magic Origins will be here as well and uh, most of the stores that I know are either drafting uh, Modern Masters or uh, well Dragons. First I'm gonna open all the packs real quick and quickly check what I have in the packs. Maybe it's something insane. Well, we got a Soul Flare and oh, nice, a Fetch as well in the Fade Reforged uh, um, Booster 1. I'm not gonna go into details yet, I'm just gonna open them, show you the rare, and then after that, I'll uh, tell you what I uh, would do. Oh my god, this pool is amazing! <laughs> this one is foil and this one is non foil. Well, <laughs> inside. So I imagine this is sealed. You probably already get a head start about which colors we uh, choose later on. <laughs> Avatar of the Resolute, this one foil. Um, yeah, I already did one video about uh, drafting uh, dragons, but that was in Dutch, so this is the English version really. Oh, nice. Alright, two packs to go. So far it's pretty cool already. Let's see what we have in this one. A profound journey and a morph. So last booster this is. Nice, another dragon. Alright, All right, I'll give you uh, a quick look. Uh, of the cards I just uh, pulled and then I'm gonna tell you guys about what I would do but I already have a pretty good idea what I should do in this case doesn't matter if you don't see the cards instantly I'm just gonna show a quick look about what I got okay well we got lucky in these boosters because we already have two of these and these cards these two are amazing in uh, sealed or limited uh, or draft because it's a 5-5 five, five flying for 5 and it uh, grows all your creatures every time you attack and since we got two of these well it's almost impossible not to choose these two so I'm definitely gonna play uh, these two which means we are, all, we are already in white and green um, but before we continue our construction, I always look at the cards, or, or the colors really, that I'm not going to play. Here we have black. Uh, although the cards are pretty good, uh, namely Gormag Angler and uh, Defeat, Soul Flyer, Hand of Silumgar's Potential, Silumgar's Butchers, uh, I don't really have anything else that I could play with. Uh, I do have Harsh Sustenance once. It uh, re requires black as well, and I'm probably going to play white because of the Dramoka. Uh, but then again, I would uh, splash black if I ever uh, would go black, because I see a lot of good cards in green and white that we're going to choose later. So I'm probably going to give up this color instantly, so that I don't have to worry about that uh, for now. That means that I also can skip the fetch, and um, first make a deck with green-white and see if I can splash black later on. Because my eye actually uh, went for this card as well. It's another dragon. Uh, it triggers the other Dromokas uh, with this ability. Plus this card is insane. It deals damage to uh, almost any creature. Uh, for some mana of course. And I really want to play this card as well. Uh, that way we can go into a sort of a dragon deck. Uh, so we have three dragons already. And I noticed in red that we had some other uh, dragon related cards as well. In red we have another dragon which can be morphed as well, it's meaning that it's either a 3 drop or a 6 drop or maybe a, well, a stronger version of the dragon at turn 7 maybe. Uh, I really want to play this card as well, that way we have already 4 dragons, meaning that my dragon madness could continue. <laughs> 
And also we have Dragon Lord Servant, Dragon Lord's Servant, which makes makes my dragon spells uh, less to cast, which is almost an auto include in this deck for me because well I want to have those dragons uh, in play as soon as possible, of course. Um, Wild Slash is a good removal card finisher uh, for one mana. It's a really good card, instant speed, two damage. Uh, it's not really about the fer ferocious, I don't really mind about that. If it's online, sure, why not, but we're probably not going to prevent anything uh, in a limited for format. Um, so i probably play this one too, and this one as well, because it's a two drop. Two drops are important, That you're, uh, it's because you don't get overrun, uh, you don't want to be overrun. And well, it's not a bad card really. Two mana, two one with a nice ability. And we have some other things that we could play later on. But first, uh, I want to take a look at white and green. We have lots of green cards. Um, I'm gonna look through them real quick. And I saw that we have a lot of mana boosting, mana ramping, and mana fixing. So let me grab those cards. We have explosive vegetation, we have sheltered airy. We have I, I Knock Guide, Map the Wastes, and Whisper of the Wilds. I want to get those dragons as soon as possible. Meaning that this card, uh, well, fits a role perfectly. Gets my dragons onto the field real quick. So I'm gonna put that in my deck, instant. Also a 2-drop. Uh, this one is really cool as well. Uh, searches for one of the lands I need, or is a 2-2 two, two for 2. Uh, I'm gonna definitely play this card. It just helps if you have the colors that you need, obviously. I'm um, not gonna play this one, probably, uh, mainly because it's a 3 mana aura that doesn't do uh, anything at first. So if you play it, probably won't do anything. Uh, the turn afterwards, sure, you have 2 extra mana. Mm, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's not a creature and I'd rather have a creature instead of an aura. So I'm not gonna play this one, probably. Uh, then we have Mapped Wastes. This is a really good card too. Uh, this does something to your creatures that you played on turn two or maybe three if you play this later on. Uh, it makes them a little bit stronger. Uh, I like that. Plus the fact that you can find your basic land that you need again. And uh, the fact that it's search and bolster makes this card, uh, uh, well, not bad to play. So I'm probably going to play that. Um, here we have the explosive vegetation. Also a good card to finding your uh, stuff. Um, since we're playing three colors, probably, uh, I'm not gonna play this one because we already have uh, enough things uh, to find my mana. And for four mana, I'd rather play uh, one of the dragons instead of uh, this card. I'm leaving this card out, it doesn't mean that this card is bad. This is a really good card. If you play four colors or maybe five even, this card is a must for each de uh, limited deck. All right, we have a lot of other two drops and three drops that I like. Um, it's kind of hard to choose between them. Uh, we have a removal spell here as well. Mm, not bad. It fights and especially good with all the big dragons that I have. I'm probably gonna uh, put this in the deck as well. Um, Avatar of the Resolute, which is also a good card, but uh, since it's green green, it's kind of hard to play uh, this card on turn two instantly, especially with all the um, well, different kind of lands that I play. So I'm probably gonna uh, not play this card. I would put this card in my deck if I were uh, only two colors, but I'm three colors now, so I don't think I want this uh, in the deck. It's not a bad card though, so maybe if I have a space left or uh, I can, maybe I can fit it in the deck as well. Same goes for this one. It is a dragon oriented card, uh, but it's still green green. So I'm not sure if I wanna play this. I just put this in the maybe. Right here we have another two drop. Not bad. It's a morph maybe. Uh, puts a plus one plus one counter on a, a different creature if you uh, turn it face up. Now I'm not sure if I want to play this. Oh, well, naturalize. It's not good for main board. It's maybe a sideboard card. Mm, Conifer Strider. Uh, this card is pretty cool. It has hexproof five one for four. Um, I probably want to play this because I'm bolstering uh, here and there, meaning that this card will be the target for the bolster. And if this gets more bolsters than one, maybe with the Dromoka, you get a 6 2, 7 3, maybe uh, higher and higher. And with the hex proof, you can't, uh, your enemy can't touch it. So, yeah, I probably want to play this. And 
I come back at this hunt a week. I'd rather have epic confrontation because it's only two mana. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile and this one in the main deck pile. Alright, we're now really morphing a lot in this deck, so this one is out. Really good if you have a morph deck, but yeah, we don't. Here we have another card with plus one plus one counters. Uh, I like this card. I'm probably gonna play it as well because the three mana three three with the potential of uh, letting other creatures grow is really good. All right, so we have another. We have a lot of other good cards. This one is amazing. Five five for five again. Probably main deck instantly. The formidable makes all my creatures gain trample, and that's really good. So in the deck it is. Um, and we didn't even have white yet, so I'm just gonna leave this for now. I don't see any cards that I really want to play instantly. So yeah, I'm just gonna save this for maybe later. Go into the no pile for now. In white we have four cards that I really like. Uh, I play these cards uh, on different Friday Night Magics, and every time I played them or had them in my deck, I, th I thought, wow, these cards are cool. First we start with Honor's Reward. Gives you some life, and again, the bolster. Makes it a pretty good card. Two two things from one card. Yeah, sure, I'll take that. Plus, if you face a really fast deck, you can gain some life back. And with this card, you can maybe kill a blocker instead of just jumping a blocker. All right, this one is pretty cool. Four mana, three two. Uh, it's an aggressive creature. Has life link, so it gives you some life back again. Uh, yeah, the life link makes it pretty good, and uh, it's probably going to get bolstered uh, one way or or another. It's only two toughness, so yeah, this card could uh, give you a lot of life. Cool, I like it. Sandcrafter Mage, again with the bolster and a creature. If you play it on, on its own, it's a uh, three-three for three. Again, <laughs> that's not bad. And uh, if you have, for example, the Conifer Strider, sure, I'll put it on that one. <laughs> and this one is hard to remove. Most of the people don't use artifact or enchantment re removal main deck. So uh, yeah, you want to have this in play and just keep bolstering if you want. Well, we have a lot of other uh, white cards uh, here. Um, I got the rare here, Profound Journey. I'm not a big fan of this card. Uh, it's not that bad in a limited format, but uh, the cost of seven, uh, yeah, it makes it really uh, hard to cast. And uh, of course it has rebound, um, but first you have to figure a way to fill your graveyard. graveyard. But yeah, since we're not playing with Sultai or, or anything, uh, our graveyard will probably just be uh, a normal graveyard, uh, to say. Um, so yeah, I'm not really fond of this card and I, I'm not sure if I want to play it. It's just too expensive. Could be cool though, if you have a deck that works around it, but it's not worth the trouble, really. <laughs> this one is really cool too, Battle Mastery. This could be a maybe card. Uh, it's an aura, so it could be a uh, card disadvantage for you if you cast it and your creature gets de destroyed or something. This card is lost as well. Mm, maybe a nice combo with the Profound Journey, anyone? <laughs> anyway, let's just put this in the maybe uh, pile. I'm not sure if I want to play it. And uh, the rest is, well, it's okay. This card is a cyborg card if you face another dragon deck. This one is cyborg for maybe the sieges. And this card is just plain. Mm, it's not a bad card though, but... I think we already have a lot of spaces filled. In the artifacts there's nothing much going on. Uh, this card is really good if you play with the colors of course or you need to splash something. Uh, but we're not playing black. Uh, we do play red but yeah I'm not gonna play this card uh, in a slot for my deck so no thank you. This one is not that good. It's expensive. It takes a long time to draw just a card. Nah it's just not, not good enough. This card is not really that bad, uh, but I think, as I said before, we don't have so much space anymore in our deck. We're, we'll see about that in a minute, so yeah, mm, not for now. This card is pretty cool. Uh, it gives you a lot of power. I never really drafted this card, so I'm quite uh, eager to try it, but then again, I'm a little bit scared too, because it costs three and, and another three, and you have this restriction of the uh, four toughness. So I'm probably not gonna play it, just to be sure, and um, uh, do something else. But yeah, maybe uh, maybe I'll try it if I have a space left. Vial of Dragonfire. This card is not that bad. 
It's remove one a stick, really. <laughs> uh, two damage to target creature. Mm, could kill morphs. Could kill other two drops, three drops maybe. So yeah, I'm probably gonna play this one uh, if I have the space for it. So I'm just gonna put it in the play. Since we have these two lands, uh, which I'm probably not gonna play, it's still an option to splash blue as well, because this card gives blue, and this one could fetch an island from your deck. Excuse me! Sealed here. Okay. Let's just scout ahead in blue and see if we have anything that's worth the trouble of splashing blue. Um, well, we do have a few things, but not that much. This card is really good. Uh, it gives flying to things. Yeah, flying is good. It's it's evasion. It's hard to block, and uh, that way you could win games. Really, give a big creature of yours flying. Well, see your opponent whine. <laughs> right into being is not a bad card too. It gives you a creature. Let's you rearrange the order of the cards that you put on top, and um, for three mana, it's a b good uh, good deal, but not worth uh, a splash in my opinion. You want to splash something that's really awesome. This is a good card too. Uh, you could splash this if you want. It's a morph, so you could always play it for three. Since I don't want to be in mana trouble, probably not going to splash it for for this one. If we had a big rare or something, sure I would do it, but there's nothing in blue that we really want to play. Ancient carp, well, ancient crap, really. Uh, Contradict is pretty okay, but not with double blue. I can't play that. There's nothing really going on here that I want to splash, so no, no blue for me this time. Okay, we have 19 cards here, excluding the Evolving Wilds, because that's for the, uh, for the mana base, of course. Uh, we start out with the Wild Slash for the re removal. We have uh, the Dragonlord Servant, the Aspirant, 2-drop. Whisper of the Wilds, Ainok Guide, Epic Confrontation for early removal, the Infinite Bolster Enchantment, removal here, uh, the Vile, uh, Mana Fix, Creature, uh, Bolster and Life Gain, Bolster and Creature, 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 well, Creature, Creature. <laughs> so we really want to have this in play, uh, so we have to do that fast and have to survive until we get the dragons on the table. So I think we have enough uh, mana fix for now. Uh, we don't have so many creatures at the beginning of the game. Uh, we have uh, some mana dudes here, but they're not really that strong. So uh, how about we put in a dragon fodder for more uh, jump blockers or well maybe to attack as well. Plus they probably get bolstered as well. I still have the explosive vegetation over here. Uh, let's see what we got here. A three drop again. Uh, dragon scarred bear. Uh, that's a really good card. Three mana, three two and potential regenerate which is really nasty I'm probably gonna play this as well uh, because we need creatures creatures are important they can block they can attack that's the way you should win with your creatures of course and here we come back to the uh, skill guard sentinels um, I'm still doubting if we could play this uh, of course if we play it is a if we play it it's a three a two mana a three four potential uh, we have uh, four no wait yeah four dragons so uh, the chances of having a dragon on hand uh, while playing this is pretty big so uh, I'm still doubting because the double green is kinda hard but I think I'm just gonna do it it's a creature at turn two and if it's with the, the plus one plus one counter it's just really really good so now we're at 21 cards what else did we get? Uh, I'm probably gonna Put this in as well. Uh, re removal and uh, gives your creatures a plus one plus one counter. Removal is really important. The more you have, uh, the easier it is to get rid of enemy creatures. In red, we also have Summit Prowler, which is not a bad card. Uh, it's a four drop as well. We don't have so much four drops in this deck, so it could be nice. But the only problem is the double red. Uh, as you can see, I don't have so many red cards uh, in my deck. Um, I'm still doubting. Uh, tell me what you would do with this card. Uh, put you in a, put it in a deck or 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 not? Let let me know in the comments below. But I'm probably gonna choose something else. Um, maybe even ancestral statue. It's a fun thing to do with uh, the Enoch guide. If you really need your mana, you can bounce your Enoch guide and uh, well uh, play it again. Also, pacifism is in the set, and uh, if your dragon or creature gets pacifismed, you can just return it with this one and uh, play it again for more carnage. So I'm probably just going to do it. That way we also have a creature at the 4-drop. 
I just counted my cards and we have 24 things, uh, 24 spells. Uh, meaning that we have one too many. Normally you play with uh, 23 spells and 17 lands. Um, our curve is uh, at the top at 5 mana. Uh, this is our all 5 mana and of course we have this one but you can also morph this one so I don't, that doesn't really count. Uh, meaning that we could easily play uh, 17 lands. We also have a lot of mana uh, surge and mana boosting so uh, that, won't, that won't be a problem probably. We still have to cut one card. Uh, I'll let you guys decide for yourself. Uh, my mine would probably be either Dragon Father, Skillguard Sentinels, or maybe the Ancestral Statue uh, uh, to cut. Um, but if you guys have another opinion, please let me know. Uh, leave a comment. I'd I'd like to read what you would do. We also have uh, six cards here that I put down, which are, uh, in my opinion, pretty good to draft as well. We already discussed uh, the Battle Mastery. Uh, we already discussed the Summit Prowler, so these can just go, actually. <laughs> and then we have these four, actually. Uh, Tread Upon is a really good card, gives Trample and plus two, plus two. Uh, yeah, if, if you time it right, you could do a lot of damage and without losing anything yourself, so I like that. Uh, Ruthless Instincts is basically the same, you either have a choice uh, with this one. You even have a choice with this one, sorry about that. <laughs> And uh, yeah, you have to time this one as well because it's target attacking creature and target non-attacking creature. But still, you could do a lot of damage with this one too. So yeah, you can figure out which one you, you like most. They're both instant anyway, so that's really good. And then we have these two as well, a two drop and a removal spell. This one costs you a card in play. But then again, yeah, you could time this one right as well. Maybe if somebody wants to destroy your things, use this one to, well, let that card be useless. The Russian Cleric is a nice card too. 1-3 for 2 and gives you life. If you, if you have a lot of fast decks around you, please use this card just to jump block it, gain some life, uh, stall and uh, have some more turns to live. This will be my uh, sealed deck if uh, I would had these boosters at a sealed event. Um, yeah, let me know what you would do. Uh, I'm, I really want to know how you guys draft. I want to try to make more videos of this. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and uh, leave a comment again or a thumbs up. So that's the deck. Super awesome. <laughs> Uh, the deck list is in the description uh, below as well if you want to uh, check it out again uh, w with the lands as well. And uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I had to make it a little bit faster than usual because else this video would go on for ages. I can't discuss every single card. Again, uh, let me know your experiences with the Dragon's Draft. Uh, tell me what I should do with this uh, card pool. Uh, you saw it, so well maybe you can say, no, this card is really damn good. You have to play it. That's Soul Flare. You can't skip Soul Flare. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> but I would pick this because the Dramokas are insane. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, until the next video, later! Oh, foil Dramoka! Foil Dramoka!